How can president just enter? He never really reached one minute. He said there is no subsidy. No subsidy again. Ah, uh -uh. what do you want me to do now? Go to all the office station now. All the office station now, don't lock. Everybody now, don't close. No way to buy fuel again, sir. Transport now, don't go high. Only one day where you enter for seat. Who they miss Buhari? Who they miss Buhari? They say the man, the man tell us. I know they speak English. I talk as it be my, be me for mind. Yes. The man tell us saying go start from where Buhari stop. And we don't see the hand right now. The war. Come on, for road, you go see uh, everybody. Every year they drive because of fuel. And when fuel don't go high, every two day market don't go high. Join me that. If you say he come out and say he go collect a letter, na lie, na so they they start. So I know they happy. I know they, I know they happy for one day. I know they happy. I never they happy. They will show you their their goodness for the beginning. At the end, they will rubbish you. So for new this new government, I never begin to talk anything good or bad because it's just the enter. But I send down commercial subsidy, making try to open border, so that so that the importation could go on. So that some some people too, go they through go through go through that way survive too, go to survive some price of things of Belgian things go reduce down. So no be only to come off first subsidy be the problem and making make sure say petrol grid available to every free station like what happened this morning everywhere. So it don't be say don't be. What do they say maybe say? As you enter, you know every waste time. Seven people talk about fuel of it. Come make fuel and make me a call the track this early morning. I don't have a small track. No motor to even enter, they come as well. They see. And they can try, sir. We'll go help them. Under this Tinubu administration, where's it go better? If you go a few open that road, if you go a few open that border for us, wait till you go talk your own weight. If you go a few open that border, then open. Open some canteens, all this uh, cement they already cost, cost any hair. Huh? And if you go to make a man, the normal price of 2000 it will be more better. You know what I mean? So if you go see, do some canteens, employ youth, make youth to VC work, to, to work. What is the challenge of today now? Where they happen for Nigeria? The challenge of today now, this is full of the now, where they worry now, at the open border. What does that mean? That means the challenge of the day now. That means the main to the border people. So at work, they come. People go to enjoy where. If what people, what people need for the government now, make things they move where. I make money there, I make food there. That means that they need for the government. The government they give us money, cash. See more easy to go job. Uh, that means that... That means that... The simple environment they provide. Yes, that means that they want the government to do for us. Make food, make food, make food there, Boko. And... Uh, Make the road, the road okay. Make put border for us. And security. And security. Even security safe. I don't know what I see there. Is safe? No but no security again. Uh, yes, we are new there because I trek, I trek come out from my house this morning. And I went over. Motor know the road. Because everybody don't carry the motor go park for road, uh, for where, for road. Say, no, no one buy food. Say, if everywhere food, they scarce. Uh, no joy. No joy, nah. The way to, you know, this country, the way to we need, there's no good enter now. Nah. We made this country, we made number one open border, and the dollar made everything, everything come down. So that it No, like if the dollar come down, our, our currency now will go down. If things will come down, as we haven't been there before. Now, what do you need? How do you feel? Are you happy? I'm happy now. All the, I'm happy. Everywhere is, everywhere is still. Enjoy the day. Everybody really, really, really convinced me that this morning, that this motor one enter, come out this morning. I tried from Obuguru, reach uh, Ikoku. Now, because no, 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 nobody to agree carry us because no fuel and the transport now can increase. Mm, all right, a change that will take Nigeria to a higher grade or a higher level. Are you happy with this new administration? Why won't I be happy? It's a succession. The other one has gone and new and come. This is in a new place. It's a new air coming in to Nigeria. And I think what is currently going on, sir? Sorry, I caught you. The, for yesterday when he came in, he said, for subsidy is gone. You know, I think uh, for me, last time when you interviewed me, I told you that one of the problems we have in this country, one of the problems we have in this country is not only the politicians, it's not only the police, it's not only the lawyers or judiciary, media also, 
are one of the problems we are having. Now you are emphasizing on him saying about the removal of fuel subsidy. What about when he's made mention of building an economy? What about when he made mention of bringing an investor? What about when he made mention of how Nigeria will go forward? Because the announcement he made yesterday is causing an uh, opera, and you can see what is currently going on. The first station are, are shut down while there is inflation early this morning. The question is that did the president said fuel stations should, should shut down? Did he say so? He's a leader, so whatever. Did, no, no, no. Did he say fuel stations should shut down? No, this is a problem. I think Nigerians know how to create problems by themselves, but how to solve problem becomes our problem. Yesterday, the president made an announcement. Did he stop them from selling the product they have? The answer is no. I was surprised yesterday when I was going. No fuel station is is open. All of them are shut down. Yeah. From other judges to where I stay, all of them are shut down. So creating problem for ourselves, perhaps they want to make mega money for themselves. Otherwise, the otherwise they... The, the, the question, I think the question is that, is Nigeria owing them? The marketers, are they owing them? Why should we just, within the twinkle of an eye, you just take a, a decision that we, we crumble the economy, a decision that will affect everybody? Yeah. Things are not done that way. I'm a businessman for goodness sake. If I had gone to the market yesterday and the market decreases or rises, I think all I need to do is to do adjustment and still continue to sell my products than to shut down. If I, if I were to be the president, in fact, I would take a drastic measure on them. So, so what do you expect from this administration? I've told you earlier on that this is a new breeze. I don't have doubt in my mind. Tunubu had been tested. The president had been tested before, and he turned Lagos State around for good. You can attest to what I'm saying. He can, if you go to Badagri now, which happens to be the last local government between uh, Lagos and uh, uh, Kotonu, there is no village there. Do you understand? So let's give him a chance and let's open our hearts. Let's forget about. Uh, what happened in the time past, maybe the election has been rigged or it's not rigged. That's not the question. Everything about election or politics is gone. Now it's governance. All we need to do is to put our hands together to make sure the government succeeds. If the government succeeds, we all succeed. You know? So if the government fails, we all will fail. So what we need to do, people should pray for them, for good heads. People should pray for them, for good ideas. People should pray for them, for wisdom to rule the country. And not a matter of, uh, I am from here or I am from there or because my man did not enter all that. No. If Nigeria must move forward, we should be open-minded for once. Okay, I think uh, Nigeria, is, Nigeria owe them prayers for them to do well. Uh, Nigeria owe them prayers for them to do uh, Even if they don't want to do well uh, on their own. I think with our prayer and the, and the effort of God, they will do well. Uh, and I believe, I, I, I advise Nigeria to speak good, stop speaking negative. We should speak positive this time so that we will get positive, positive change. So are you happy with this new administration? I am happy, I am happy. I think uh, this administration is not going to be like Buhari administration. From time of Buhari, from when he came to power, it was one, one trauma to another. One problem to another. From recession to this, from this to um, uh, which other sickness and all of, the, all of that. Naira redesign it was challenge and challenge and challenge and challenge that some persons could not even stand it and they died and leave this country. So I am not happy about that government. Anything for Sandra government, I wasn't happy at all because they really suffer people. But this man coming, we owe him prayers. We owe him prayers. He is our president, he's our president. Let us pray for him to do the right thing. So yesterday when he came, he said, Foy subsidy is gone. And today you can see what is currently going on in the uh, economy of Nigeria. Most first station are shut down. How do you, what do you, what's your reaction? If you ask me, I blame, I blame our people around this, our south. I blame them all south-south or south-east. But if you go to Yoruba, if you go to Yoruba currently, you will see flea stations selling and selling where. You go to north, you see flea stations selling and selling where. Each time something happens in this country, it will never, the thing will never even start. Nigeria, our people here will start to punish their brothers and sisters. I think I blame our people that are into that uh, uh, business right now. I blame them so much. Oh, Tinubu's issue is not Tinubu's fault. It's not, it's not Tinubu. If you, if you know very well, Tinubu has not, uh, they have not sworn me in when this thing, this thing started from our place here. You see that people started increasing their fuel price not just increasing their fuel price, they shut down their fleet station even when they have fuel. It's, it's painful, it's painful.
I think our people are not helping us. They are not helping us. We are supposed to do so. If you check during the redesign uh, Naira note, other people have not stopped collecting the money. Our people here stopped collecting the money even before the time. So sometimes it pains me because our leaders are not helping us in this, uh, in this our, our zone. You remember that when they give consultancy project in North, go and confirm. They did the work, they do it and do it well. Our people, when they give consistency projects, yeah, they aid the money, they embezzle the money. Instead of they prefer going to abroad to take their children and all that to abroad. So sometimes I'm not happy with our leaders in South. Let me put it in South. So it is the consistency problem, not the from the governor's step. If he ask me, even if he's going to be general, you shouldn't I shouldn't our people shouldn't start it here. They shouldn't start it here. If you talk about the resources, it's coming from this place. The crude is coming from this place. Major resources of this country is coming from this place. But each time something happens, or some president, governor or president says something somewhere, other people will not take it the way our people take it. Before you know, our people will carry action before other people. Thank you so much. Go part. I can't say anything, but I'm so happy. Come on, girl, she knew me. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> direct, I'm so happy. That Jagaban. Is eventually now the president of, of Nigeria. Of course, I support him to the call. Hundred percent. Hundred percent, full, totally. So, and I pray for him. God will give him the strength to conduct Nigeria very well. Yes. Sir. Yes. So we've seen what is currently happening today, sir. For scarcity. Yesterday when he came in, he said, uh, uh, you know, uh, no more for subsidy. Yes, it's true. Mm. He said it. See this uh, for subsidy, uh, sub uh, subsidy. The former uh, administration. Yes. It's already been removed. Yeah. You understand? According to our new president's speech, yeah. say the fuel should not more than 350 per liter. Yes. This morning we have yes. heard it. Yes. So, so how much uh, are you buying now, sir? No, for now, they have not selling for now. Okay, no uh, let's wait between nine and twelve. I say driver, uh, yes. taxi or more uh, uh, driver. How is it affecting you right now, sir? It's not affecting anybody. Okay. Mm, for now, there's joy in the air. There's joy in everywhere oh, because yeah. this way they will start to sell it between nine and twelve. Oh, so there's no problem in this. Everywhere, everywhere. we are free. Okay. Everywhere is okay. Uh, all right. We are jubilating. We are jubilating. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Jagabar. Jagabar. I'm missing Buari now. Chew God. Do you, you are missing Buari. Seriously, we are missing Buari for this country now. No. Why did they miss Buari? How can president just enter? He never released one minute. He said there is no subsidy. No subsidy again. Ah. Uh -uh. What do you want me to do now? Go to all the office station. All the office station now. Don't lock. Everybody now. Don't close. No way to buy fuel again, sir. Transport now don't go high. Only one day we enter for seat. Oh, they miss Buhari, oh. they miss Buhari, oh. So how you see this new administration? You know? I will not see the leg now when you come out now. Uh, before I go talk this no if I stay like a month, negotiate, know how I go do it. Not to just that day that they say no succeed, doesn't like succeed again. How you want make us to do? You know, see I'm not everywhere now done the day one kind, one kind. Every street, um... No prison on the self well again. Even where they pay 100 naira before, they tell me say 200 this morning. Is it like, oh, you sp oh, we are missing Buhari. Just yesterday, we went. Only yesterday, we are missing Buhari. So, what do you expect? As a, on the long run, if you say this administration will go better, you know, say this subsidy money, they won't use and, and then some other for so, for the betterment of Nigeria. So, that's why the subsidy will come out and they will use the money for another thing. All this is in a big English. Now, when you see for I, now we go believe. Nothing when Nigeria they tell us where they work. If they tell you A, that A and Z. So now everything. So don't. Now when in the rule, we will see them. So no joy now, bro. No joy now. Nigeria, how do you feel about? Give us your reaction. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. You are not happy. I'm not happy. Why? You know here we didn't talk. Fuel otilo or sausage otilo. You know what I mean. It don't come out and be that. So it's a fuel subsidy is gone. It's gone. So is that fuel subsidy that is a challenge? You don't fuel subsidy. That Me, I know say the man, the man tell us. I know they speak English. I talk as it be my be me for mind. Yes. The man tell us saying go start from where we are stop, and we don't see the handwriting on the wall. 
Come off for road, you go see her. Everybody, every year they drive because of fuel. And when fuel don't go high, every two day market don't go high, join me that. If you say you come out as you go collect a letter, na lie, na so then they start. So I know they happy. I know they. I know they happy for one day, I know they happy. I know they happy saying we self, talk or say they are inaugurate them. I go sit there and wait in them my mind. Are you sure? Yes, I go sit there and wait in them my mind. No joy for the land. No joy, no joy. Even the day when I announced I win, I know say everybody was angry. So no joy, no joy. And if not me be am, I don't see the people not happy for me. I go, maybe you say about, about stepping down, even if they inaugurate me, I go make things work well. So that people will be no believe me, go believe me, say things go go well. They don't have any choice now, that's why they are shouting Tinubu Tinubu. If they have choice, they will not shout like that. So, what I got advice them, if not me, I don't say, may make things do okay, so that people. We'll follow and happy say, maybe what you've been thinking, then go do, you know, do them. Um. You understand? May no start from where Buhari stop because Buhari tell no, our body no remain the same thing now again. That's my own take. Thank you, bros. I know say Nigeria government, they will come, they will use, they will use, they will come, they, they will show you their, their goodness for the beginning. At the end, they will rubbish you. So for new, this new government, I never begin to talk anything good or bad because it's just the enter. But I seen them come out subsidy, making track for open border so that so that the importation could go on. So that some some people too, where they through go through go through that way survive too, go to survive. Some price of things, of virgin things go reduce down. So nobody need to come out for subsidy with the problem. And making make sure say petrol go down available to every free station, like what happened this morning everywhere. If transport, we are supposed to go pay 100 naira, then go test it at 200. We are supposed to pay, then go test it at 500. So anything when they do, make it try, they do and well. Make it not be like past government, because this past government fell everybody. Yes. Even included you, where the way they interview me. Yes. So for now, we move the watch out. So how do you, what are your reactions on square subsidy now? You, how do you feel about it? Are you happy? Uh, I look they happy because place where I pay 100 naira come, I come pay 200, I go take day happy. So, but you believe, say, that the money for first of the you don't use and do other things instead of paying, say, that money now waste? Uh, already that first subsidy before, where they do that first subsidy, I know that I can buy the chop, that nothing like first subsidy, that I can buy the chop the money. So, they just they use that English, they deceive people. So, but if this, this man remove that subsidy, they make no kind of fire another name to name in order to collect your own money too. So I think come out the first subsidy, then make it make sure say if we go to every free station a normal price. So make it be say those more than the lavish for saying a first subsidy, make them use and put this in order to make the petrol go down. All right. Thank you, sir.
It's uh, almost 8 in the morning at the presidential election petition tribunal at the Court of Appeal in Abuja. A lot of lawyers gathered here since 6 a.m., but the courtroom is still locked. And this is unusual.